Hello chaps, Paul Curran here. I hope you and all our listeners are well. A sporting theme to this week's Poetry Corner. We've all enjoyed the Winter Olympics and uh, there have been some tremendous sporting results recently, not least Wigan's beating of Manchester City to put them through to the FA Cup quarterfinals, which particularly pleased my mother as she comes from Wigan. I think Arsenal fans were less happy yesterday and uh, of course the rugby continues. I've decided to read two sonnets today. The first involves the rock band which my girlfriend Victoria sings in. It's called Out of Isca, Isca being the Latin name for Exeter, and all the band's members come from the southwest of England. I see with interest that our rugby team was faring better than they are currently when I wrote this a year or two ago. Out of Isca. Fret buzz. Another pub gig for the band tonight. Fess, S, U and Skittles are tightening, rocker cover funk. Originals might get the place jumping, flashes of lightning. Ale and Six Nations before you set on, feedback before with feedback thereafter. Unsure whether our unbeaten boys won, grand slammed drums, pepper peals of lass laughter. As oak beams hardly dampen the wattage, stract fantastic electronic sonic, this dockyard boozer more like a cottage, each pint chased by a vodka and tonic. Holding stage centre, I'm at the side, you blaze like a rock star. I fill with pride. There's a capital letter on the last word there, I should point out. <laughs> the second sonnet focuses on my football team. The football team that I've followed since I was born. My father, having played in his youth for Wald's End Boys Club, and uh, I still have relatives in the northeast of England. This is called Newcastle Untied. Sheer madness to capture the loyalty, and still tougher at times all too frequent to consider, given results recent, such a team having the totality of one's support, despite the quality matching poor game, or if play is decent. But, all in all, all is irrelevant. Football teams are hours from nativity. Exhausted in defeat with voices gone, 90 plus stoppage capacity played, magpinimous or righteously dismayed, the better side lost, well, what's done is done. We say, with black and white plans being made, goal-mouth clarity as if we just won. <laughs>